Earlier in the show, designer Amy Ferry showed off the happiest spring Easter baskets. Well, now she's back with one more Easter idea, a gorgeous, colorful Easter tree. And Amy, this is a tree that has been how many years of making? It's been about 21 21 years. My, my oldest daughter was a baby. So it's been around for a long time. And these eggs, most of them are real. Some of them are gourds from Jenny Gochner, and she's having her show in a few weeks, but you'll want to watch for that. But most of them are, are real eggs that I actually blew out myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is a tree that you keep in your house. Where do you put it? So it's in, it's in the family area as you first walk in. Um, it's, on, it's a little tiny nook room that I have. And it really is a showstopper. I mean, people stop and just gaze at it. And it's always, you know, I, I always have different holiday decor on it. Uh -huh. But Easter, I have to say, Easter is my favorite holiday for this tree. Um, the, the tree is just a branch that my girlfriend had for her daughter's wedding a few years back, and I've just kept it up. I used to use curly willow. Um, fresh curly willow from the florist, but this is a great option to always have. And spring pruning is happening right now, so watch for the cleanup and go grab a great branch to get your eggs on. I can tell when I look at this tree that each of these eggs must have some special story or some special meaning, and I think that's what makes it so mm -hmm. intriguing and so fun to have. And you mentioned that you've blown out a lot of these eggs. I did, I blew out. In fact, if you wanna keep your eyes and your brains inside, I have this awesome little tool. It's a German egg blower and they have it specifically so that you don't damage the egg. It just puts a tiny little hole at the bottom and at the top and then you blow it out with water and the instructions are, it's really easy and you can do an egg in like a minute. Where it used to take me I won't even tell you, the, when I made the first 24 eggs, it took me probably three days to blow out, decorate. It's such an easy process now with and this And can you blower. get this at the craft store? Yeah, well, not the craft store. Unfortunately, this is one of those that you're gonna be on a wild goose chase, but I'll have the information on my website okay. for this because this is a great tool to have and to order online right now so that you have it. Okay, tell us about some of the detail and the fun little things on these eggs. So when I was, when I was young, my grandmother, she was sort of the inspiration for this tree, quite honestly. Um, she used to blow out eggs and decorate them with clear glitter. And, I, and she'd make these little tiny, you can see on this one, the little tiny, little vignette with the little deer and the bunny. She was infamous they're for those gorgeous. little scenes. And miniatures have made their way back and uh -huh. they were big in the 60s and 70s and they're back again. And so it just warms my heart because I love, you can see some of them are so fragile. I've broken some of them over the years, but I just add to it every year. Um, again, I've, I, I collect them at craft stores. Yes, I was into paper flower. This, that, those are probably 10 years old and they're probably smashed, but I still pull them out. This is an heirloom tree that you can, you spend a few hours your first time to put it up and you can always pull it out, add to it over the years. And this has just really kind of become a big conversation piece in our family. Okay, Amy, thanks for sharing. What a fun idea. We Thank appreciate you. it.